Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to remove black mould from clothing. Now this item of clothing has been sitting in a bag for a week, forgot about it and it's managed to get some black mould in it. I'm sure it's all ingrained into the fibres. Sort of thing you probably find on the backs of curtains in houses where you've got cold windows. So this video is about trying to get rid of ingrained black mould, not black mould that's just been sitting there for you know, a day or so and you can just wipe it off. I'm sure that would be perfectly feasible. I think this is going to be a bit of a tough job, but anyway, we'll give it a go. First attempt I made at it was to just use regular washing up liquid and soap, and that didn't do anything to be honest. Next I tried borax with some hot water, ratio of 50-50, and then I tried some OxyClean, which I really thought would do the trick, seems to work on just about everything else. Oxygen bleach, and again, did nothing. So I've had this out here for a few days now. Of course, it's not summertime, so it's not ideal. I think it probably could work in the summertime, bleaching the the spots out of the uh, bib for, with the sunlight, but I'm not getting that much sunlight now. Um, might need to give it a helping hand. Anyway, we'll leave it out for a little bit longer. So I've been trying this in neat vinegar and it's not really done anything. I mean, you can see it's better than it was before, but that's because I've been messing around with other things. I think just letting it bleach a little bit in the sun has helped a bit, but you can still see there's some mold in here. So the next thing we're gonna do is try it with vinegar in the washing machine. I've put the uh, garn inside the washing machine that's still got the black mold on it. And we've got ourselves three cups of distilled white vinegar. Two to three cups is recommended. Now I'm going to put that into my detergent dispenser drawer. Right, okay. And I put it on a white wash. So you can see that. White. And I've put it on 70 Celsius, pretty hot. Normally I'd use 60, but I just want to make sure we try and get the stain out this time. So we're just gonna start running that. And we're gonna pause it once the drum is filled. Okay, so what I should have also mentioned is that I've actually put regular laundry detergent in there as well, inside the drum. And I've paused it now, it's stopped filling with water. I'm gonna leave it now for about 10 minutes, just to let the vinegar soak in. It did a few revolutions, so let the vinegar soak into the, all the items in there, including the, the one with the black mold, and then we will resume the spinning and let it go on with the cycle. Right, we're ready to continue running. And we'll leave that till the end of the cycle and check it out. Yeah, unfortunately, I did try that in the washing machine with the vinegar and it didn't actually work because you can see there still the stains there. So I'm at the end of my trials now. I can't find anything else, so it's gonna I'm gonna resort to the strong stuff. This stuff is as you can see on the side there, active ingredient is bleach. So we're talking about chlorine bleach here. And let's just see if this works. It's a real shame because I was hoping to not have to use this, but I'll just leave that on there for a few minutes and see what happens. So it looks like that bleach, that chlorine bleach spray has done the trick. There's not a sign of that mold anywhere. Um, I'm sad to say I did try obviously all those other more sustainable eco-friendly methods and none of them worked um if you've if you, anybody got any ideas on how to improve what i did please put them down in the comments below i feel like i tried everything but maybe i didn't um yeah uh it is a bit of a shame but the only upside to this of course is that i haven't had to throw this garment away same thing with curtains i would imagine you could take the backings off and put them in a bucket of bleach and water at the right proportions yeah, just saves throwing materials away. So I think in that sense, it is worth using some sort of chemical treatment. All right, a little interjection here, guys, uh, because I ended up buying some stronger hydrogen peroxide just to give it a go. So I tried this with 3% on this bag because I'd already cleaned the bib, so there wasn't any more mold to kill. So I've found this bag, it's got a load of mold on it, and I tried this, and to be honest, it's been sitting here for 
you know, 20 minutes and it's not really done anything. So I'm going to have to say that's for hard set in uh, black mold. Maybe if it's like fairly new, it might be all right, but hard set black mold doesn't work. That's it for this video, guys. I uh, hope it was useful. If you like my video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video all about sustainability, permaculture, fixing things, and so on. So we'll see you then.